welcome back to Just Semantics. Thank you so much for your patience over the last week. I have been insanely busy with my thesis project for school, but that's okay, because I'm back now. I am joined by my brother, Sawyer. Hi. Shh, that's enough for me. Oh. As you can see, I'm not in my normal place where I live. I am in a hotel. We're gonna talk to you about things you can do in a hotel when the parents have gone to get you food. Number one. The parents are like, we're going out to get pizza. We'll be back in an hour. What's the first thing you think? Beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, as an underage minor, I don't encourage that sort of thing. So what is the second thing you think of? Uh, food and drinks. We've gathered all of the amazing mm. chips, two bags of Doritos, so you know we come from good stuff. What, what is this, an orange? <laughs> Who should put this here? <laughs> oh, we forgot the most important thing. A nice cold beer. You can have pop or whatever you children are into these days. <sighs> Number two thing that you want to do when your parents are gone, jump on the bed! <laughs> Oh, emergency number three is calling the front desk. So my brother was not jumping on the bed because we know that's a rule you have here. Actually, you know what? We're, we're good. He's fine. Completely safe here with me. The next thing that you obviously do is get as far away from each other as you possibly can in a tiny room by playing hide and seek. Two, one, ready or not, here I come. Under the bed. Under the pillows. I always know where Sawyer is. <laughs> in the closet! I win all the time at hide and seek. I'm just better in every single way. <laughs> Number five is you want to do a fashion show of all of the things you bought when your parents forced you to go out clothes shopping. Here we see Sawyer sporting the J. Crew look. He's not sorry. Samantha Blake. But can she go out going for the And that is a yes. I did it with grace. <laughs> we are entirely out of season, but on purpose because that's fashion. Well, I think that we could definitely, you know, stun some people on the runway. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. I think it's a fallback career for us for sure. Number six, after you've shown off your new duds, you want to share this experience with the world and what world you have at your disposal when you're in a hotel room with no Wi-Fi is room service. Hello, front desk. Oh, I was hoping I could you could connect me with uh, Amanda. Amanda Love. I really need Amanda Love. It's been missing, and it's like this hole is in me, and I just need to <laughs> fill it with Amanda Love. That got really inappropriate. <laughs> we got beer. We got sex jokes. We got it all. Number seven on our list: a good old pillow fight. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> After you've destroyed private property, number eight thing to do, just sort of relax for a few minutes. Did you see that tweet today? What tweet? You didn't see it? <clears throat> no. It's the, it's the one everyone's talking about. What tweet? Oh my god, you have to get on Twitter. I am on Twitter, but there's nothing that popped up. Turn your notifications on. Why? What happened? Because that's that's how you get not that's how you find out about these things. I think I could chug this. Do it. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, oh! <laughs> Chugging champion right here, 2016. Ooh. <laughs> A lot to live up to, young <laughs> man. Number nine is actually. Guys, we're back with the food. 